So this is the cacao food forest. A delicious cacao fruit grows here. And there's a lot of it now. Cacao season is in. First step is we collect the cacao fruits. Each pod has a hard shell. And then I collect it here. So yeah, this is how the cacao is processed. So we brought it here and and now I will cut it open. Careful with your fingers, of course. And then uh, we collect the seeds in here. And each pod has a delicious fruit. It doesn't have much pulp. It's sweet with a hint of um, sour. And then also juicy. You can put it in here and I'll collect that and then uh, ferment it for about a week and then once it's dried we can peel it and we got the cacao nibs. So I dig out all the cacao beans and yeah. <laughs> you don't really have to eat the uh, fruit to ferment it but I really enjoy it so got a lot of fruit to eat. So after about a week of fermenting, now we need to dehydrate, so lucky enough I have the Excalibur and so I'll be putting all of it here and dehydrating it at a raw 115 Fahrenheit, which is just under 42 degrees Celsius. After about 24 hours or so, could be longer. Up to you. This was been a long time there, but so yeah, it's ready for cacao. Uh, next step. So now I take the nibs, crack them open, take out the or the beans, and then we get the nibs and separate the skin. Now we grind up. And I grind this up, and now it formed this chocolate. The package, and then for those that I can't get the bottom, I'll blend bananas. <laughs> So this was fermented and then dried in the dehydrator oh, okay. and then I peeled it the other these ones are like the harder ones to peel I think yeah and then they peel ah, and then this I throw out but you, some people use it to make tea okay. and then these nibs I ground up in the uh, thing and it became like smooth and now it's solidified did you have to add uh, like water? No, nothing. It's just really? ground. Just the more it ground in the, the high more blender. It like a... Yeah, wow. in a high-powered blender like this one.